been my great joy to serve you as Director of Mission for the past 12 years. During that time, we have developed cutting-edge programs which have gained national attention. Your enthusiasm, dedication, and generosity truly reflect the caring heart of Jesus, the source of my own calling to end poverty and work for peace and justice here at home and in the broader community. Your mission council consists of 8 to 10 of your neighbors who volunteer because they're passionate about mission. They are tasked with setting priorities, overseeing local and international projects, distributing grants from the mission budget, and generally helping the director of mission to develop and implement a path for congregants, that's you, to live your faith in the world. At the Saturday West Tab Playgroup, your family and children spend quality time with kids from the No Dine section of Yonkers, providing lunch, a fun, safe place to play, and also educational opportunities. We prepare our white gifts and angel tree gifts for No Dine children. We brought children from No Dine Hill to the Bronxville Garden to learn about nutrition. As we returned to the church, I heard one little boy say, I'm going to ask my mom to give me water instead of Coke, lots of vegetables and chicken so that I could be better at soccer. Don't be afraid to pour your heart into every day. Our alliance with the Fuller Center, formerly Habitat for Humanity, gives you a chance to help build safe, quality, affordable green housing for lower income families and individuals, uplift someone toward the American dream of home ownership. In our soup kitchen project, you'll prepare a meal at our facility for delivery to a local soup kitchen. You can help with a breakfast run. Prepare food, blankets, and other necessities and distribute them to people living on the streets in Manhattan. You can join the Big Clothing Closet Sale team on Mondays and Thursdays and help sort donations which help people in urgent need and our legendary sales which take place twice a year support RCB mission programming and other organizations. At our most recent sale in May, a Yonkers school teacher exclaimed, I am so grateful for this sale. I never would afford such beautiful clothing on my Yonkers teacher salary. Together with our partner, Crossing Thresholds, we support grassroots leaders in Kibera, Kenya. Currently, we are helping to open a new school. <laughs> Go on one of our trips to visit in Africa or connect and build a personal relationship with the kids we support via our Skype video calls. Susan, we are sending love and prayers from Kenya to be well and be strong. Be strong! As part of our bigger vision, RCB offers opportunities to make greater impact and provide moral leadership in the world. RCA has a long, proud, close relationship with the Alamana Center for Interfaith Collaboration in Oman. They helped establish it more than 100 years ago. The Reformed Church of Bronxville supports the Alamana Center's mission and staff. Perhaps someone in your family would like to visit the center in Oman. Recently, we organized a local weekend retreat at Stony Point for Christian and Muslim women. The theme was self-care, so we read passages from the Quran and the Bible about the importance of Sabbath. We left feeling connected and restored. In addition to these efforts, we are working to build bridges across differences in politics, race, and class. Similarly, when someone feels harmed, the restorative circles we are preparing to lead can reconnect broken relationships, call for accountability, and bring healing to wounded communities. We would like to highlight Judge George McInnes. After learning about this work, he went on to create Community Restorative Justice and now boldly leads other Westchester judges in adopting this compassionate alternative to incarceration. This year, you can attend our Restorative Justice Circle trainings and learn to be a peacemaker in your family, your community, or wherever there is conflict. 
Ten years ago, we launched our Coming Home Prison Ministry program to welcome formerly incarcerated people into our supportive community. The program features weekly meals, classes, goal setting, mentoring, sharing of stories, advocacy, and many special events. Our nearly 200 volunteers, ranging in age from 5 to 96, come from within and beyond our congregation. You can participate in simple ways. For example, make Valentine cards, sing with the cathedral choir at the coming home graduation, prepare a meal, or just show up and dine with us each week, donate clothes, buy Christmas gifts for the children of the participants, or go deeper, mentor someone returning from prison as they create a new life, join our advocacy efforts. A group including RCB congregants and coming home participants recently sat down with New York State representatives in Albany to lobby for parole reform. Andrew Langhoff has stated that he sees the crucial role our coming home plays in helping individuals, but he also has come to understand that change needs to happen on a broader scale. He has advocated for parole reform in Albany and now joined by Chris Goff, he hopes to grow the effort and be a moral voice in the public arena. Our Coming Home program is the subject of scholarly research and widespread replication to help men and women returning from prison to heal the wounds of domestic violence and trafficking of women and to support war veterans. It is a rich program which typically reduces the trauma scores of participants, educates us about underlying systemic issues such as race and systemic poverty, then mobilizes all of us to make positive change. Because of this, everyone involved has a life-changing experience. Franz Michel, a recent graduate and beneficiary of Bronxville Rotary's fundraiser for his organization Guns Down, said, What distinguishes RCB's coming home from other reentry programs is that every week people bring their children, their most prized possession, to dine with us. While others are afraid of ex-felons, people here believe in us. Roger Goodell is going to put out the charge to our graduates. I came last year at Dawn's request and I was so inspired uh, that I convinced my wife Jane to come back with me. Uh, You guys are really amazing. Uh, I know you probably don't think of it this way, but you inspire all of us. Uh, We were fortunate to be here to hear your remarks. Uh, You guys are extraordinary in your dedication, uh, your commitment, Uh, the way you believe in yourselves, and I think that is something that inspires all of us. So I thank you, because I think for me, uh, being able to come here and see the tough challenges that you're facing that many of us would never experience uh, gives us a perspective that we would never have. After coming home graduation, Kevin, a graduate, said, since returning from prison, this was the best day of my life. Earl James at the Reformed Church of America said, Your Coming Home program is one of the most beautiful examples of ministry I've seen in 30 years. Paul Muir of the Reformed Church of Bronxville said, The Coming Home program changed my life. Two young men looking at the Where all the opportunities have gone One says, maybe it's a sign That you and I should change our minds And chase the dream we always had As children, John Take a good Your two hands, they will serve you best when they're serving someone else. Take one small step onto that long road ahead. There are wonders, gifts, and friends. We should enjoy before it ends 
two young men looking for 